Hello, hello. Welcome to another English class. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yes. ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Yes. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Hello, hello. Yes, ok. Good. Yo no les escuchaba. Pero sí, ya. Muchas gracias a todos. Ok. All right. Well, in the previous class, we started the use of some and any. Also, the vocabulary in different conversations. Also, we have the interview okay, about your job and also uh, someone else's job. Okay, so today uh, we're going to have another English class, another class in English. Okay. Hold on. Okay, let's practice. Let's practice. Okay, the oh, what happened here? Give me a second. What's going on here? Now, there we go. Okay, what is this? Cereal. Fruit, butter. Cereal. 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 Good. How about this? Potatoes. 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 Bread. 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 Sandwich. 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 Milk. 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 Vegetables. 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 Meat. 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 Fruit. Fruit. I'm sorry. Fruit. 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 Orange? Orange juice. Yes. Orange, Orange juice. Butter. I'm sorry? A butter. 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 Fish. 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 Chocolate. 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 Sugar. Sugar. Eggs. 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 Very good. Cheese. Cheese. Coffee. Coffee. Más difícil esta otra puerta que no está abierta, pues. Sí. Sí. Pasta. 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 
Rice. 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 Yogurt. 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 Very good. Okay, that was the exercise. Un segundo. Okay, well, um, now you will have the chance to practice okay, the, the vocabulary word. Okay, voy a compartir con ustedes un link. Voy a dar un par de minutos mientras practican. Okay, les dejo ahí el link. Pueden ingresar. Cuando vayan finalizando, me escriben en el chat. Finish. Please. Finish? No. Hello, finish. No. No. I finished.
Finish. Ok, two students. Dos estudiantes han finalizado. Very good. Okay, well, uh, did you finish? Yes. Good, okay. Here we go. Which one, what it is? Fish. 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 Yogurt. 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 Chicken. 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 Meat. 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 Milk. Sorry? Milk. 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 Rice. Rice. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Burgers. 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 Burger. Eggs. I'm sorry? Eggs. 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 Apple. 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 Orange. 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 Banana. Banana. Good. Easy, juicy. Muy bien. Okay, let, now let's start taking the attendance. Okay. Uh, this is the class number six. No, me recuerdo. Class number cinco. No, five. Okay. Comenzamos con García Rosa. García Rosa. García Vela. García Vela. Eh, Solís Tobar. Meléndez Flores. Martínez Ancheta. Rivera Rivera. Present. Good, thank you. Um, Herrera Flores. Herrera Flores. Flores Martínez. Flores Martínez. Polanco Gutiérrez. I'm here. Thank you. Um, Cornejo. Serna Ruiz. Present. Good. Eh, Aquino Espinosa. Escobar Mejía. 
Present. Martínez Uribe. Martínez Uribe. Mengibar Sánchez. All right. Well, vamos a ir eh, rápidamente al manual. Le vamos a recordar las preguntas. Ok, these questions. Ok, this one. For example, ask about a classmate. Where, how, do you have a job? Where do you work? What do you do exactly? Is your job interesting? What time do you start work? When do you finish work? Do you like uh, your job? What do you do after work? And después vamos a preguntarle, ask about classmate, friends, or family member. For example, tell me about your brother, tell me about your sister. It, it, those as an example, where does he or she work, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We're going yesterday. We had this activity. Ayer realizamos actividad. Okay. El propósito es que ustedes pueden practicar la información que hemos adquirido en las en las unidades anteriores y desarrollar la parte okay del speaking. Vamos a recordar estas preguntas. Nos vamos a repasar por five minutes.
All right, teacher. I have a problem with my internet. No problem. No worry. Is it raining? Yes. A lot. <laughs> Where do you live? In Tanacatepeca. It's ah, yeah, close yeah, to no. Popo. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, here it looks like it will rain. It's about to rain, but maybe in some, maybe later. We have some, but it's raining. <laughs> Okay, well, welcome to everyone. Now that you practice with your classmate, I would like to listen to your voices, okay, listen to you speaking about this topic. Me gustaría escucharlos hablando de este tema. For example, your job, eh, tell me something interesting about your job. Eh, when do you start working? When do you eh, finish working? Do you like your job? And what do you do after work? How about Mr. Maximiliano? Okay. Well, um, sorry, I work um, at the Salvador Sox and the meeting area. I'm a production supervisor specifically for the change of styles. I, I do a lot of things. I, I have uh, around 14 people. And, and we do a lot of things every day. I start to work when I am in the day at 7 a.m. and finish work at 6 p.m. And when I'm in the night, I start to work at 7 p. 7, at 6 p.m. And sorry, and I finish work at 7 a.m. I work 11 hours in the day and 30 and 13 hours in the night. And my job sometimes is a little stressful because of the pressure. And sometimes it's, it's funny because uh, of the, the relationship with my coworkers. But it's a little... Um, um, I think it's, it's so successful to do this work because um, I learn a lot of things every day. Finish. Yes. Okay, good. Excellent, mister. Good fluency, good pronunciation and good use of the info. Very good. How about Miss Mr. Kevin? Mr. Kevin. Ready. Hello? I'm sorry, your microphone is. I'm sorry. Uh, I work in Hainsbrunn and Salvador Stocks. Uh, what I do exactly, uh, I'm a utility. I, I do many things. I, I make changes of the style. And as well, I help a supervisor production and um, people operated as well. And uh, I think um, for, for other people is interesting, but not for me. Uh, what I uh, start to work, I start uh, when when. We are in day a day seven a.m. and night six p.m. Uh, uh, do you like your job? My job? Uh, sometimes. Uh, what do you, what I do after work? Well. I I go home 
good sleep. I always. <laughs> excellent, Mister. Very good. Very okay. Excellent. Okay, en esta forma es como se puede desarrollar la actividad del idioma a través de la práctica, donde ya ponemos en práctica todo el conocimiento que hemos adquirido. Incluso si hay errores, pero en el proceso siempre van a haber. Lo importante es continuar y practicar. Okay, muy bien, Mr. Kevin, Mr. Maximiliano. How about Miss Fatima? I work in health farms. Uh, what do you do exactly? I'm not sure the the word is correct, but I fall fall in pack pack in stockings. Doblo y paco medias. I'm not sure if the correct. The packaging area. Yes. And my job is interesting. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> because sometimes. we yes because we have different style of stockings and okay. medias. Yeah, eh, socks. Socks, okay. Um, what time do you start work? I have the same schedule of Maximiliano and Kevin. And when I finish my work, sometimes I uh, watch TV when I uh, when I arrive my home. And also, I, I like to sleep a lot. <laughs> All right. So, uh, guys, in your area where you work, what is the name of the, the company? El Salvador Sucks. Okay. So, there are different areas, right? Packing, yes, yes. Uh, operators. Yes. Okay. Many areas. Many areas. Okay. Mm. Yeah, because I have another group, and there are a lot of operators over there. People who use machines. Para coser, okay, to fix clothes, to make clothes. Good. Yes. All right. Also, managers. Very good. Nice. Interesting. Okay, good. Well, uh, let's continue with the class. All right. And we were yesterday in the... In the... Okay, in the full, we already practiced. Okay, we have this conversation too. Okay, we have the, the use of any and some. Remember, eh, algo que es muy importante es que any se utiliza para um, negativo, okay, negativo y pregunta. Y some para afirmativo. Okay, eh, for example, well, we have lots of potato. Let's make some. Some, okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? Any mayonnaise or some mayonnaise too? No, we need to buy some. 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 We need any onions. Some onions too. Some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. Any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. Some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. Excellent, but let's put some apples. Some, some apples. apples. Okay, uh, apples is apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Awful, awful. 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 Okay, alguien recuerda el significado de awful? Desagradable. Desagradable. Okay, desagradable. Oh. Very good. Uh, hold on, please. Vamos a hacer otra práctica. Hold on, please. Okay, for example, there... A, B, or C. B. B. Excellent. Give me a second. I need to turn on the light.
are some. The letter B. There are some. The letter B. Are some. I'm sorry. Letter, letter B. B. Letter B. There are some. Green. Uh -uh. Uh, no. There aren't uh, any green papers. Es que estos son rojos. Es que decía, uh, verdes. Mm. There is. Letter B. Uh, some, no, no, no. Some. Letter, some. Ah, I hear letter B. Letter B. There isn't any. Any. Letter C. Some. Some mushrooms. Yes. Some mushrooms. Fungus. Letter A. There aren't, or is there, isn't. Letter Letter A, B, or C R is is C? C? A, B. Check has a tongue. C, is. Is a tongue? There any. Or a letter B? Or three, three, three. Okay, good. Excellent. Well, uh, now is your... Hold on. Okay. Vamos a darle la oportunidad que usted practique el uso de... There is y there are. Comparto el link para practicar, practicar el uso de there is. Perdón, any and thumb. Any and thumb.
I finished, pero me pasó una, creo yo. Porque no me había fijado que estaban corriendo en la pantalla. Ready? Miss Fatima, finish. Yes, I'm finished. Mr. Maximiliano? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Number. Any. Okay. She hasn't got. Any. 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 Very good. Um. Any? Are there? Some, any. 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 Very good. Are there? Any. Any, any, any. window? There any. isn't. Any. 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 Very good. There any. aren't. Any. Any. Some. There some. is. Some. Some. Very good. There is chocolate some. in the fridge. Some. some. Is there? Any. 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 Good. There some, is some. Some. There aren't any. 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 There are some. 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 Is there any. one in your? Any. Any. Okay. Excellent. Very good, people. Muy bien, excelente. Okay. Vamos a continuar. Okay, vamos a ir a la página. Vamos a ir a la página. What? Sixty. Page sixty. Don Jumano. Okay, here you go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the US, Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The US Eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, jelly. Japan, fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea. Mexico, eggs. Beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. 
Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, there we have the conversation. Tenemos la conversación. Okay, uh, what happened here? Give me a second. Give me a second, please. Okay. What do you What do you have for breakfast? ¿Qué es lo que tienen o usualmente consumen en su desayuno? We have eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam or jelly. Fish, rice, uh, soup, uh, pickles, green tea, eggs, bean, tortilla, fresh fruit, uh, sweet bread, or coffee with milk. About Mr. Maximiliano. Usually, I, I have bread, some coffee, maybe... Sweet bread, too. Sweet bread. Eggs. Uh, beans. Beans. Good. How about Miss Fatima? Sometimes I like to eat eggs, toast, and fruit. And when I don't eat a fruit, I like to drink a juice, natural juice. Natural juice, okay. Yes. Mr. Kevin? Uh, eggs, beans, sometimes rice fruit, and coffee with milk. Okay, good. Miss Alicia? I like eat coffee, um, tortillas, and rice fruit. All right, good. Excellent. Okay, now we have this conversation. It says, let's have a breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Soup, sorry. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. One more time. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sunday. Really, what do you have? We usually have fish, rash, and soup. Uh, fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. All right, let's practice for two minutes. Okay, the conversation. Okay, switch uh, roles. I'm intercambiating uh, roles.
Okay, well, uh, now that you're ready to practice the conversation, I'm going to start taking the attendance list. Bueno, vamos a tomar la asistencia. Creo que no se ha agregado nadie. Desde que, vamos a ver. Mr. Miss Alicia is here. Veamos. Y Miss Fatima también se encuentra acá. Bien. Eh, Mr. José Ramón Polanco, he was at the beginning, right? At the beginning. Eh, Mr. Kevin, he's here. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Maximiliano, too. Okay. And that's it. Okay, vamos a continuar. Um, teníamos la conversación. Okay, vamos a... I'm going to share screen. ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Yes, right. Ok, vamos con Miss Alicia y Mr. Maximiliano. Ok. Alicia. Miss Alicia. Ok, I guess she has problem with her eating and connection. Yes, the, uh, she say it's raining. It's raining, and... yeah, here it's raining a lot too. It's raining muy fuerte acá también. Pero, bueno, ustedes, ¿qué le parece a ustedes, Sarah? Yo seré el Kumiko. Okay. okay. Let's have some breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? Well, uh, we usually have fish, rice, and so Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. 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 Yeah. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay. Ahora yo soy Sorry, este es conmigo. Okay. Hey, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, now Miss Fatima and Mr. Kevin. Mr. Kevin. Okay. Can you start on me? <laughs> okay. Let's have a breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always have a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have a green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. We change? Please. Kevin. Kevin, we need to... Let's have a breakfast uh, together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always have a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have a green tea. Well, I I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent pronunciation. Very good. Uh, all right. Ok. Bueno, ahora vamos a ver algo que se llama los adverb of frequency. Adverb of frequency. Ok, 
que voy a compartir con ustedes una presentación acerca de los adverbios de frecuencia. Just give me a second. Ok, bueno, los adverbios de frecuencia es, son aquellas palabras que se pueden utilizar para poder expresar con qué tan a menudo realizamos una acción. Principalmente se utiliza en el presente simple. Ok. Eh, y se ponen, la, la posición es entre el sujeto y el verbo. Ok, no puede ir después del verbo, a menos que esté al verbo el verb to be. Ok. Ya vamos a ver más ejemplos. Ahorita voy a proyectar mi presentación y me, me dejan saber si la pueden visualizar. ¿Quién es? Yes. Good. Ok. Adverb of frequency. Tenemos, podemos ya eh, manejarlo como porcentaje de una actividad que usted realice. Por ejemplo, always es el 100%. Always. Es una actividad que siempre realizamos. Ok. Que no fallamos ningún día. Ok. Always. Ok, uh, usually o frequently, ok, eso es, eh, 75-80%, often, ok, en esta often tiene dos pronunciaciones, se puede decir often o often, depende del estado donde se pronuncia. Ok, often or often. All right, often. Eh, then we have sometimes. Es como un 50% de la de probabilidad. Un 50% es que en ocasiones sí, en ocasiones no. Sometimes. Eh, occasionally sería, poder, podría ser un 40, 45%. Y seldom o rarely o hardly ever es un... De un, diría yo, un 10 a un 30%. Ok, que es que pocas veces, una vez a la semana, o dos veces a la semana, o uh, dos veces al mes, que okay, seldom. Y never es que usted nunca realiza, realiza una actividad. Nunca. Ok. Por ejemplo. ¿Cuál podría ser acá? They rarely. rarely. Rarely, very good. Takes shower twice a day. Always. Always. Always, very good. He always, fíjense bien, a dónde está la posición de la verb frequency. Está entre el sujeto. Y el verbo. No podemos decir, he takes always a shower. Tiene que respetar la, el lugar. He, all, he always takes a shower. Chris. Constantly. Constantly. No, never, never. Never. Never brushes her teeth after eating. Frequently. 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 Okay, usually, occasionally, occasionally cleans my house. Okay, very good. Tenemos más eh, práctica. Give me a sec. Vamos a...
Deme un segundo. Okay, can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay, entonces tenemos, I read a book every day. Significa, every day significa que todos los días, cada día, every day. Un sinónimo de esta expresión puede ser la siguiente. Podemos tener, I always read a book. Recordarles que las verbos de frecuencia van entre el sujeto y el verbo. Okay, sujeto y verbo. Always. I always read a book. I play the saxophone five times a week. Cinco veces a la semana. I usually play the saxophone. I usually play the saxophone. I ride my bike twice a week. Dos veces significa twice, significa dos veces. Twice. Twice a week. Un sinónimo puede ser I often ride my bike. I often ride my bike. A menudo. I play baseball, basketball. Un sinónimo puede ser I sometimes. Ah, once Literally. significa una vez. Una vez. Una vez. Ok, once. Por ejemplo, para preguntar con cuánta frecuencia realizamos una actividad, utilizamos how often. How often do you play soccer? ¿Cuán, con cuánta frecuencia. Se puede decir, I play, I play basketball or I play soccer once a week. O how often do you go to the church? ¿Con cuánta frecuencia va a la iglesia? ¿Usted solo va los domingos? I go to the church once a week. Once a week. Or... I sometimes, en ocasiones, play basketball. Next, I go to the cinema once a month. Una vez, una vez al mes. Entonces, I rarely, I rarely go to the cinema. I don't drink alcohol. That means I never, never drink. I never. I never drink Pilsen. Okay, beers, alcohol. Entonces tenemos, remember, always sería un 100%. 100%. Uh, usually 80, 70. Often 60%, I guess. Yeah, more than sometimes. Sometimes it's 50 and 50. Rarely, seldom, hardly ever, muy pocas veces. And never, okay, never, nunca, no hay probabilidad. Recordar, one se dice una vez. Twice, two times, three times, four times, and five times. I ride my bike twice a week. ¿Cuál podría ser acá? Sometimes or often. No. Correct. Often. I walk my dog every day. Always. Correct. I play the saxophone times a week. Usually. Usually. Sorry? Usually. Correct. Sometimes. No. Correct. Rarely. Rara vez. Rarely. O raramente. I don't, I don't drink alcohol. I never drink never. alcohol. Correct. I never drink alcohol. No I play basketball once a week. Nothing? Sometimes. Correct. Sometimes. Bye-bye.
-huh. Ok, good. Bueno, voy a... Vamos a ir al ejercicio a la página 61. Página 61 y vamos a hacer el ejercicio A y B. En el primero, lo que vamos a hacer ahí es colocar el adverbio de frecuencia en la oración o pregunta. Y en el ejercicio B vamos a, eh, vamos a ordenar las palabras que están acá. Ok. Here we go.
el, el, ahí lo que vamos a colocar es el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Eat o dinner. Eat. No, porque dinner eh, se refiere a cenar, a cenar. Ajá. Al tiempo de comida. Entonces sería an I sometimes dinner. No, I sometimes eat. Porque dinner se está refiriendo a un tiempo de comida. El, el verbo como tal es comer. Ajá. Eat dinner. Eat dinner. I sometimes eat dinner for pasta. No, ahí solo lo estaba poniendo como ejemplo. Pero ¿qué es la oración para... completa? I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Ah. I sometimes eat, eat pasta, eat pasta for, dinner. for dinner. Yes. Ah, okay. Y la última. Mm, Pero no menos importante. I have... Vale, leamos las palabras que están. Dice, have I dinner with often... Of family in my. In my. O sea, ¿Cuál sería la primera palabra que iría ahí? I have. I have o solo I? I. I, sí. I. Y ahí iría un adverbio de tiempo. ¿Cuál sería? Quiero ver. Estamos hablando de always, never, sometimes, often, hardly ever, occasionally. I of, often. 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 I often. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Max. <risa> no, pero es que así va a aprender. Así va a aprender. Por eso le pregunto, ¿cuál es el verbo en la oración ahí? Ya pusimos bueno. dos palabras. I often... I often... I often dinner. No. Have. Dinner es el tiempo de comida, es cena. Ajá. No se refiere a la acción de comer, sino que se refiere al tiempo de comida. Dinner. I, I often have, entonces. Have, oh, yes. Ya ve que sí puede. Ajá, I okay. often have uh -huh. with mm. dinner my family. No. I often have tea. Uh -huh. I often have. I often have. Dinner with my family. That's correct. <laughs> yes. Vaya, ya estuvo. Lo terminamos. Vaya, entonces. Voy a más. Are you done? Yes. Is it done? Good. Creo que tenemos la idea, ¿no? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go over the sentences from the manual, the textbook. Okay, uh, number 
number letter B, exercise A, letter B. How about Mr. Maximiliano? Can you please read it? Letter B. Well, I often have coffee, cereal, and juice. I often have coffee, cereal, and juice. Very good. Uh, next, Miss Fatima. Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Excellent. Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Very good. Alicia, letter B, I have? I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Excellent. Very good. Mr. Kevin, no? Hey, your microphone, mister. Do you do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Excellent, very good. Okay, now unscramble. Unscramble the sentences. Hey, Mr. Maximiliano, number one, please. Number one is all, but I, I, when I go with number two. Number two. I, I hardly ever eat a snack at work. I hardly ever eat a snack, a snack. at work. Very good, Mr. Number three, Miss Fatima. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Very good. Uh, and the last one, Miss Alicia, number four. Uh, I often have dinner with my family. Good. I often have dinner with my family. Excellent. All right. Well, you don't have we don't have the audio for this. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna share with you. An activity, voy a compartir con ustedes para re, reforzar los adverb frequency. Hold on, please. En un segundito. Ok, voy a compartir con ustedes dos links. Este es el primero. Y el segundo ahorita. En un minuto. This is the second one. Lo importante es recordar la, um, la posición del adverbio de frecuencia. Okay? Únicamente es con el verb to be que puede ir adelante. Por ejemplo, she is always late. She is usually or she, I am always on time. Yo siempre estoy a tiempo. Solamente puede ir eh, después del adverbio, después del verb to be puede ir al adverbio de frecuencia. Sin embargo, con los demás verbos tiene que ir antes. All right, here we go. We're going to practice. Por ejemplo, aquí lo que hay que hacer es prácticamente ordenar. Aquí lo que Ajá. le dice es que va a crear oraciones usando los adverbios de frecuencia, always, usually, sometimes, never, en las, con las palabras que le han dado. Por ejemplo, Oración. Aquí, no, ajá, aquí si se fija hay cinco espacios. Nos han dado loud, loud, laundry, Paola, Paola das, das, never, never da. De, o da. Entonces, aquí el primero que deberíamos de poner es Paola. Paola. Uh -huh. Le damos ahí va. Ajá. Paola lo arrastra hacia la primera que sigue. 
Never. No puedo. Ah. En el teléfono. Ah. No puedo. No lo dejes en el teléfono. ¿Cómo no? Si lo dejas arrastrarlo, pero no lo, no lo puede colocar. A no veces hay que colocar. No me queda. Bueno, pero hay que primera, colocarlo como, como en una esquina. Hay que colocarlo como en la esquina de la izquierda. Del lado izquierdo. Intente así. Porque así me pasó a mí la vez pasada que lo intenté hacer. El de, el de, el de que teníamos que mover los, los personajes. ¿De acuerdo? Ajá, Hasta que pero... la, la posición. Bueno, pero la oración quedaría. Paola never does the laundry. Paola never does the laundry. The laundry. The laundry. Que, pa que Paola nunca hace la lavandería. La lavandería. Uh -huh. Vaya. En la número dos tenemos the trash. Right. Take they out. Take out. They. They. At at a, a very. Usual. Very usual. Uh -huh. Entonces, iniciamos con el pronombre. El pronombre en este caso sería they. They. They usually, que sería they el adverbio. Usually. Take out, que en este caso es un verbo compuesto. Take out. Ajá. Uh -huh. The trash. The trash. Thirty. Sí, the trash. Uh -huh. at 8.30 at 8.30 they usually take out the trash at 8.30 se casi siente 8.30 8.30 uh -huh. y aquí en la oración dice tres. they usually take out the trash at 8.30 ok para vale, ir la siguiente tenemos always at, at 7, 7 and 15. 15. 15, uh, at 7 15. 15. My, My father, father takes take a, shower. a shower. Entonces, el pronombre. Entonces sería ahí. My father. Uh -huh. My ¿Cuál father. sería la segunda? My father um, takes. Segura. My father always. Always. Takes uh -huh. at uh -huh. seven fifty. Fifteen ever. Fifteen. Okay. A shower. Or um, My father always takes a shower at no. ¿Ah? Dígamelo usted. My father always takes a shower at 7.15. Ah, vaya, eso le dije. Eso le dije. Bueno, lo que no he intentado es que si lo pone en un lado equivocado, a ver si funciona. No, Ay, pero vamos. es que no se me mueve la cosita. Vaya, la no, yo, yo no he intentado, digo, porque yo sí lo puedo hacer. Ah, la bueno. número 4. Tenemos la palabra sometimes. Sometimes Adriana, Adriana the dog, the dog take takes for a walk. For a walk. Vamos a probar a ver Primero, si. Le... Ah, Adriana. Sí, Ajá. Adriana. Ajá. La otra vez no la hay. Never is in the fight line. Sí, Juan. Okay. 
Ya no hay más. Tienen que estar aquí. No hay otra. Usually. ¿Dónde está? Ay, no sé cuál. En la parte de abajo, donde está de always, pero uh -huh. donde está la Y. Para. Correcto. Uh -huh. Ah, pero está Rebeca. Ajá. Ah, para acá. Usually. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh. Ya no veo más. Sí. Si quiere, pasemos a la otra parte, Leva. Va. Vale, eh, sí, order no, the no, sentences. Order the sentences. Click and drag. Click y dibujos. Solo de moverla. My, my, my sister always goes to the school. Mm -hmm. Caro Caro and me usually go shopping, no? Caro and me, no, me, ah, Caro, me. Uh -huh. Usually go shopping. Go shopping. Play some last night. I. I never. I never play. I never play. Play among us at night. Among us, write the sentences about you using the above. Watch movie, watch movies, listen to music, play. I often play tennis. I never listen uh, to music. Uh-huh. I, I never. La primera letra siempre es mayúscula. Sí. I, I never listen to music. Listen to music. Uh -huh. uh, no es listen music. Vamos a usar las frases que están arriba, creo. Arriba nos está dando la, la, la acción uh -huh. que están haciendo. Um, listen to music. Uh, I always, always go swimming. I always go swimming. O podemos usar you always. Para variar, va. You always. You always. Go. ¿Cuál era? Go swimming. Go. En 10 dólares americanos son 5 dólares de americanos. Swimming. ¿Qué te digo? La segunda sería 
sería un 90% sometime. Sí, va. Uh -huh. Sometime, watch to the movie. Por ejemplo, we. Sometime. I sometimes watch more. Watch. Hello, hello. Well, eh, no sé si alguno finalizó el ejercicio. Al menos el número uno. El número uno sí lo finalizamos. I'm sorry, voy a usar el micrófono que está viviendo demasiado fuerte y ya no los escucho. Un minuto. Ok. Hello, hello. 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 All right, number one. Ok, can you see my screen? No. No. How about now? Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Of course. Hello? Sí. Yes. Sí. We. Ah, okay. Yes, we see it. All right. It says, deme el orden de la número uno. Paola. Never. never. Paola, never. The, the, the laundry. The laundry. Number two. They. They. they usually. They usually. usually take out. Take out. The trash. At, at eight, 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 eight thirty. Good. Eight. Uh, next. My father, my father, my father always, always, always takes take a, a shower at 7.30. 7.15. Seven, 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 Adriana, Adriana, uh, Adriana, sometimes, 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 sometimes takes, takes the dogs for, dog for, dog dog for a walk. walk. Next. Una letra. They, 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 always, always, always Watch, watch TV, TV, TV on Friday. On Friday. Friday. Excellent. Next, six. Fernando, Fernando often, often, often clean his room on Sunday. Excellent. Last one. My, My mother, mother usually, usually does, does the dishes. Usually. 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 The dishes add to... No, After my mother two. usually does. No. No. Sí. My mother does usually. Mm. Are you sure? My mother no. usually does. My mother usually does. Usually does. Usually does. Usually usually does. does. Usually okay. does. Okay. Claro que hay diez. Ten. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent, guys. All right. Next exercise, which is this one. Okay, this. I often, often, often. She often. Never, never, never. We always, always, always. You usually, usually, usually. He sometimes, sometimes. Good. Sometimes. All right. Well, vamos a hacer el orden porque este va a tardar mucho. Okay. Order the sentences. Click and drag. My sister, my, my sister, my sister always, always, always goes go to, to, school, school. Goes to school. school. Goes, goes, goes school. to school. Next, Caroline me, Caroline me, Caroline me, Caroline me, and me. Usually, usually, go usually go shopping. shopping. Play among us. Among us. I never. Among us. I never. I never. I never play. Play. Among play us. Among us. us. At night. At night. At night. Good. I uh, never. Never. Into music. I never. Never. Listen. I never. Listen. Uh -huh. 
listen, listen to, to music. To music. I always go I always, I swimming. Go swimming. Go swimming. I usually. I usually watch movies. No, it's wrong. I already finished this part. Usually, no. no. Maybe frequently. Sale mal. Me salió mal. I usually eat rice. No tendría que ser. Or oh, maybe I will check. Maybe I write some later. Okay. How about this? Fifty percent. I sometimes. I sometimes. Eat fries. Eat fries. Fries. Okay. Oh, tenemos dos. Bueno, entonces la de arriba. Así que no sería popcorn y, y, y watch movie. Aquí sería no, watch it's movie. Watch movie. Watch yes. movie. Watch movie. Uh -huh. Y en esta sería eat. Right. Eat right. Rice. Right. Bueno. Perfecto. You see? All of them are good now. Maybe I cry another. Later. <laughs> I will check. <laughs> the, this bar is correct too. This one because we didn't we didn't do it. This is too. This is good too. Okay. Excellent. Dale ocho porque no hicimos el este. El word search. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Well, vamos a ir a la toma de asistencia. Los mismos cuatro. Mr. Kevin is here. Mr. Maximiliano here. Miss Fatima too. And Miss Alicia Beatriz. Okay, well, let's stop right here the class. Okay, see you next Monday. Yes. Monday, Tuesday, yes. and Wednesday, right? We have three classes yes. left. All right, so yes. let's stop right here the class. Have a good one and bye bye. Take care. Bye. See you later. Bye. See you later.